that final manoeuvre, we talk about the ride coming to an end, but just getting across the rock shelf is another manoeuvre in itself. As we see Italo now trying to find a response on that new board. Drives up into the section. Big backhand float. Huge floating re-entry to finish this wave off. He's going to hang on for the finish. Oh, wow, yeah. that was incredible. <laughs> you watched the difference in the finish of Italo's wave, uh, as we see here. So grinding off the top there, straight back up into the pocket. And look how much bigger the end section is. Almost lost it as he was leaning in off his heels, but was able to regain and get up on the little lip. And uh, gets that finish there. Amazing stuff. Yeah, well, this is a, a perfect demonstration of how you can really push a number up with a solid finish. And Italo was kind of gifted with that opportunity at the end of this ride. Felipe didn't get that same chance to attack a big end section. His ride tapered off, but the board change, Rich, it was to go to a smaller fin, and it worked well for him. Well, you can see Italo there just hitting that little speed bump before he got up. He did so well to keep, keep control, and he was able to ride out of that one. So we see a replay here of Geordie Smith getting this semi-final up and underway and just hammers that first turn. The big fella from South Africa, that is a beautiful wrapping carve. And then gets to the finish, blasts that final section there. Took off under the lip, straight up. Hits it hard and then watch this wrap from above. Beautiful rail work there. Full roundhouse cut back, hits the foam. He's only come away with the one win, I believe, Joe. That's exactly right, Bugs. The one win was a few years back now at the US Open. But boy, she'd been consistent. As we look at Tati, off the bottom, clean open wall. There's the first wrap. Weston Webb holding that bottom turn. Great timing on a big section. Tatiana Weston Webb's timing has been impeccable. And uh, Tatiana, she's going to be very, very pleased with this first ride. Uh, well, it's the first scoring ride, Joe. This section here is just huge. Bang. Like, she really makes the most of this one. And when you slow it down, this was just a full-throated turn on, on a, you know, it wasn't one of those inside sections that just had a little bit. It was full on. It was you know, like at least it was a good six foot wave. It got a little bit of flatness in front of it though. But again, like right there, she could be there and coming around that section and hooking up into that. So it's still an opportunity here. Good size wave, Joe. It's coming down to this. Gilmore needs a 9-4. Top turn wrap to start. She needs something real big, a drawn out cutty to finish things off. Showing off that perfect style and approach. Yep. But needing the best number of the heat, a 9-4 with 15 seconds, Bugs. Super critical. And then Jordy behind Philippe. Laying into the rail on that first carve, just wrapping it a little bit further than uh, Philippe's carve. And uh, as the wave goes a bit sleepy on this middle section, let's see what Jordy gets done in this final hit there. Just a beautiful lip gliding floater. And that one felt good. That's a decent number. Watch how far Jordy leads into these bottom turns and then gets that his heel side rail set. Look at how far over he is leaning. All that leverage and height coming into play. He's going to have to risk something on these rides if he wants to keep pace with this guy. Toledo up again. Unbelievable first turn. The wave flattens out for a moment, but he'll get an opportunity to throw down something big on the end section here. Whips into another solid manoeuvre. Let's have a look here from the water angle. You see Philippe just leans into it and just stays on that heel side rail for an extended period. Snaps right back up into the power source, almost under the lip, and then gets the uh, the second wrap here and then gets to the finish as well. Bang, just jams on the brakes one more time. It's almost like a brake and acceleration situation there. A bit more of that spring in his step in this final, doesn't he? He does indeed. There's just a little more emphasis on each one of the turns, a little bit more of a dynamic element to it. And, and it's a, as a spectator, there's an emotional response just watching what he's doing and what, just watching what a surfer does. And